the Call of Duty backlash is growing. I mean, they must have thought that this was just going to be maybe a couple days on social media and then people will forget about Nick Mertz and how they removed his skin. They removed his bundle from the game. But no, anything that they post on any social media, they are getting absolutely destroyed. And it doesn't help with some of the larger streamers deciding to uninstall their game literally live in front of thousands of people. One person, Dr. Disrespect. What we gotta do. Is uninstall the game. Number one. I mean, don't get a mistake in this year's Call of Duty is the worst in its franchise. Uh, but that decision by COD's PR marketing team. <sighs> Uh, I'll tell you right now, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one to digest for the two time. I feel like, A, they either need to apologize publicly to him or reinstate his bundle in order for me to consider playing Call of Duty again. And of course, idiot streamer Hassan Piker had to weigh in on Dr. Disrespect deleting Call of Duty with this idiotic statement. <laughs> yes, he is more loyal to, he's more loyal to Nick Merckx having his skin than his own wife, I know, yes. He's more loyal to that. I mean, he's also more loyal to Shungite, really. Bro, up to, up to Shungite. You know what I mean? Just add a little bit more Shungai to that diet. Put it around La Casa. Okay, little pyramids, that sort of thing. I feel like we're, we don't have enough Shungai in La Casa right now. Poor Hassan probably doesn't understand what it even means to be loyal to a friend and have someone's back. But hey, that's just who he is. That's the audience he's built. So we expect statements like that from him all the time. So good on you for sticking to your brand. But with all that going on, Nick Merckx did address this on Twitter and said, friends are created in good times, but families are built through adversity. Appreciate all of you that have my back, understand my position as a new father and recognize the love I have for all. Ain't no hate in this heart, peace and love. Well, it's awesome that you're not apologizing, that you're not bending the knee to these crazy mob activist people that just want you canceled for saying hey can we just leave kids alone you know can we just leave kids alone but there's going to be a lot more persecution coming his way nick and we hope that you stand strong because even now different media outlets are calling his statement anti-lgbtq plus and they are being greeted by so many people saying how is protecting kids anti-LGBTQ? This is wrong. Nick said nothing wrong, and you're wrong for promoting this. Stand strong, Nick. Stand strong. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Jay, and we'll catch you in the next one.